Hello, this is Caria, and I have another review for you today. Today, I will be reviewing Fantastic Cities and Fantastic Structures. Um, so, before we get started, I want to thank the publisher for sending me out these to review. I'm going to let you know that there will be a link up here for subscribing, and then another link up here for tips, and a whole bunch of links down below with relevant information. If I mention something exciting, then there will be a link down below. So, let's get started. This is the original book. Um, it's by Steve McDonald. They are double sided, not perforated. They're they retail, both of them retail for $14.99 on Amazon. Um, they are 11, I'm sorry, they retail for $14.99 and then on Amazon you can get them for between $10 and $11. And they're both um, 60 pages in length. Um, neither one of these has a uh, swatch page either, so there's that. But the other thing is, um, when I say they're 11 inches, I mean these are fairly big books and it's kind of hard to fit it all in here but um, I do my best to get as much of it in frame as possible so um, this was the original book and then this is the second book and I'm gonna try to flip through both of them and then um, I will show you a medium test instead of at the very end we're gonna do the medium test uh, kind of in the middle because I'm gonna show you what I did so um, it comes with this um, page which shows you some examples of some of the things that people have um, people can do um, as you can see these are fairly large pages um, there is some intricate detail here so um, so if you're not fans of intricate detail this book may not be for you but I think it's still doable um, the other thing that I like here is that it tells you um, here and here like what exactly it is a picture of so there's no ambiguity sometimes um, it's really frustrating when you're trying to figure out what exactly the the image is of so that um, so that those little arrows with the descriptions of what this is are really helpful um, so that's nice um, this one I think this is New York let me see this is the yep this is the uh, uh, what is it uh, it's a Central Park. Wait, hold on. Let me show you. This is uh, Central Park, Manhattan, New York, New York. So um, I'm from New York. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that looks like New York. Um, and in fact, it is New York. So there is that. Um, and there's different um, angles too that you see from uh, from the buildings. There's some where it's down below. There's some where there's a sort of um, a uh, bird's eye view, an aerial view, overhead view. This is a sort of, um, I guess, a uh, Mandela. Um, so there's that. And so, um, so there's a page, uh, usually there's a Mandela and then there's a regular um, image of the city or town. This is a work in progress. This was done almost entirely in watercolor. So this is watercolor pencil and then th a lot of this is watercolor paints. So, um, so you can see the paper is really nice and thick and we'll actually take watercolor, both watercolor pencil like this and watercolor paints um, like here. And you can see on the other page that it looks fine and it's totally be usable on the other page and this was done in purple because I did started this um, when prints passed um, is when I started this and I've still been working on it but I've had to take breaks from it um, I'm hoping to be finished with it in a few days um, the passing of prints was you know it was really upsetting for my wife and myself and for of course millions of people um, his family of course but um, but anyway, back to the book itself. It's really nice book. Um, the thing is that, you know, sometimes you got to get a little creative and I've seen people sort of color it in all sorts of different colors. Um, I've seen people try to do really realistic versions and I've seen people do well, <laughs> kind of psychedelic versions um, of these um of these pages um, it is it is to me a little bit sad that it's double-sided and not single-sided I mean I understand the reasoning why uh, because um, there would have to be either less pages or cost more um, or both in order to be single-sided and the paper that they use is, is fairly thick and you see that it takes watercolor 
um, really, really well. Um, and it should it should totally take whatever kind of um, markers you have. Uh, there's no test page here, so you're gonna have to test on like the copyright page or something. Um, but you know this is really sturdy paper uh, and it's really large book so i think value wise 14.99 retail um and ten dollars on amazon by the way i really like this red binding that they did here um i know that it's not you know it's not part of the structure of the book but i but i think the binding is for this book is extremely special for the fact that um the pages are all labeled and it's labeled in such a way as to be unobtrusive. But this red binding, I don't know why, but I really like that red binding. It's just a special touch. And both books have that. So um, so that's really good. And I I just am so happy with the with this. So you can always see. Um so you can always see what, like what it is you're looking at. And uh, I actually did a study abroad in Japan for three years. This one is um, Japan, um, I'm sorry, not three years, three months. And it was really, really exciting and so much fun. Um, and I, I really miss Japan. And hopefully I hope to go back there at some point in my life. Um, I'm gonna show you all these. And uh, so there's, a, there's really, it's really like kind of a fun book because you also get to see what different places around the world like how their buildings are and how they work um and this is also really nice for somebody who's kind of getting a little bit tired of the the flowers and the animals and this is definitely a departure from that so if you want something um that's a little bit more <laughs> i i would do this in either like watercolor pencil or marker just because it's so much and uh there are definitely some very, very detailed pages like this one, which I would not do in color pencil, but that's up to you. You're an adult and you can make your own choices for yourself. And there's a little bit about the artist. Of course, you know, I didn't really read it. I should, but I didn't because I'm a terrible person. Um, so that's, uh, this is the original book, $14.99. Um, so there's this book. And then there is the new book that just came out. This book uh, came out recently. Um, this is Fantastic Structures, so um, so let's open this one up and we'll see. And the paper for both of them is the same. They both will take watercolor paints and watercolor pencil, um, as well as your markers and your regular color pencils. So that's really good, um, especially since it's a two-sided book. Um, it's always hard to know, you know, with a two-sided book, you definitely don't want to damage the back page. Um, and then especially with there being no, no test page, um, it can be hard, but you can, you know, you can totally use your watercolor pencils, um, on here. And the paper is really nice and thick. I think this is a, is this a building in Manhattan? What, what is this one? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. Let's see. Oh, this is the Czech Republic. Okay. So uh, again, I, I totally love the fact that, you know, they give you all the information about what exactly you're looking at uh, because it can be confusing and, you know, and that sort of thing. Oh. And then you also learn about different things. And if you want to go on and do further research, there's enough information um, in this little section here. And it's unobtrusive to, oh, I think this one is pink. I, I like the red one better. This is pink in this book. Um, I like the red one better. <laughs> the, the binding it's not really relevant but you know just just so you know that I personally like the red one better the red binding not, not that it matters at this point but um but this is actually the paper is really quite nice and it's hard to describe the the feel and the touch of this paper but this is a really nice um paper um it doesn't feel too toothy but when i was using the the watercolor pencil um it did take the pencil quite nicely um so it wasn't too glossy for you know for pencils and for your use with pencils if, if that's what you want to do um and i especially like the fact that this takes watercolor pencil because it's so so much detail here that i feel like it would take me too long to do this in regular color pencil so um so if that's a concern for you, that that's something that's really nice. Mm -hmm. So there's this, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, so there's this. And of course, as always, we have a visitor here. This is Bella, who is, I don't know what she's doing over there. Um, she's having some leftovers, I guess. 
Let's see here. So I kind of want to see um, more book publishers try to get a hold of this paper and use a similar paper because this is really very nice paper. Um, very nice feel to it. And this is a really, this is a really good book. Between the two, uh, I'm not sure which I like better. Between the two, they're both really good books. So it's kind of hard to choose which one you like better. Um, the main difference is that this one is mostly, um, like the title suggests, structures. So this one is mostly focused on individual buildings or a series of buildings. Uh, whereas the other book is focused on um, the, the entire cityscape, whereas this one is just um, uh, one building or a few buildings. Some more notes on the author. I think this is the same. It looks like it's the same one as the previous uh, notes about the author. And once again, the price is $14.99 uh, retail and between $10 and $11 on Amazon, uh, and there, there'll be thereabouts at your various online uh, places. So I hope you guys like this review and thank you so much for watching. Um, stay because uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around and do a little Q and A. And then after that, I will see you guys next time. So thank you guys so much for watching and for staying with me throughout the fit, flip through and review of both of these books. And um, I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Um, so we are back with the Q and A and someone asked me a while ago how to color bricks. And in truth, I tried to do a whole video on this, but there's not really much to it other than the fact that I had a, um, a reference photo and I tried to make the different bricks look different because you know uh, bricks don't all look exactly the same so that's one of the things that I tried to do um, I also looked at the main colors in bricks which I found were brown red and green so that's how I based most of my colors and then the other thing I tried to do is to um, work sort of from the outside in. So putting more layers on the outside of the brick than the inside. And this uh, this needs to be sharpened, um, but I won't uh, have you watch me do it. Um, so that's the thing I tried to do. And then for the more green bricks, I used just green and brown. And for the more red bricks, I use just red and brown. So brown is kind of the color that I use the most. Um, in this case, the brown that I'm using here is a burnt umber, which is the brown that I use the most out of all the browns in the Fiber Castell pen set. Um, so you can see after a while, you just start building the layers really slowly. And um, over time, you start to get a more and more realistic um, brick. This one, I think, is getting to be a little bit too brown. So I'm about to add some red to it. So adding just a little bit of red to this. And this is the uh, Indian red. So if I wasn't doing the video, I would be looking at the reference photo right now and then going back and forth between the brick and the reference photo. Um, so that's the main thing about coloring bricks is to have a reference photo and then have uh, your colors and you'll notice that I did one thing here and something else here. So each brick is different. So for me, it's really important to when I'm coloring the bricks, to treat each brick differently and try uh, not to do the same thing for all the bricks. And that'll give you a more interesting, more realistic look on the bricks. And then also with the reference photo I had, um, the weathering had turned this into a lighter shade. So like as I go, I'm gonna color in a little bit, but the, the outlines are gonna be just a little bit lighter than everything else because of the weathering. So um, I hope that you guys found this helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye.